Digi Talk, and in this session, I am going to cover the alternate way of web server for the load balancing of the request. Okay, so uh, when we talk about the load balancing of the request between the different managed servers in a cluster, okay, specifically for the web web requests, JSPs, and servlets, okay, then we configure the web server in front of our uh, web logic server. Right. But apart from that, there is another way as well, which is called the load balancing using the HTTP cluster servlet. So this is the servlet provided by the Oracle, okay, along with your uh, WebLogic server, which you can use for the load balancing as well if you don't want to use the web server. Okay, so there are uh, multiple scenarios where uh, uh, where uh, multiple clients are using this particular servlet for the load balancing of requests between the managed servers, different managed servers based on their requirements. Okay, so now to, to configure the HTTP cluster servlet as a load balancer, so what we need to do, we, we don't configure any web server. Okay, so instead of web server, what we do, we configure a managed server. Okay, and after configuring the managed server, which will act as a proxy server for load balancing the request between uh, different managed servers, we deploy a, a web application to that particular server. For example, uh, we will create a managed server with the name of proxy server and then we will create a web application which will act as a load balancer for redirecting the request to the backend managed servers. Okay, and we will deploy that web application to the proxy server which is the managed server that we are going to create in step one. Right, and inside the web application, we will mark this servlet as the default servlet. Okay, and then we have to update the weblogic.xml and web.xml file for some contents like for the redirection and to define the context used and to define the backend cluster uh, servers, uh, IPs and ports. Okay, so, so the same way that we do in the web server as well, we defined here for the managed server and the web application that we are going to de deploy on the managed server, which is going to act as a proxy server. Okay, so we, I will show you that, that uh, web application with the content of web.xml and weblogic.xml. Okay, we will deploy the proxy server and then we will try to access the application. Okay, so what I will do, I am going to access my application. That means I am going to access the admin console. Okay, via this proxy server. Similarly, if you deploy your application on the cluster, then you can access your application that, you're, that you will deploy on your cluster. Okay, so only thing that you have to take care when we define the redirection in the weblogic.xml file. Okay, we defined the weblogic cluster parameter and in that weblogic.cluster parameter, we defined the backend server host and the port number of the weblogic server. For example, if you have a two uh, nodes or you can say the two managed servers are running in the backend, okay, on different hosts, for example, on the weblogic uh, one and weblogic two host, then you can define the weblogic cluster value as weblogic1.com. This is the uh, DNS or IP address of your machine one where your managed server one is running along with the port of managed server. Similarly, you can define the the host name of or, or the IP address of your second machine or second node where your second managed server is running along with the port of that particular managed server. Okay, so what I will do, I will specify here my local host and the port 7001 because I am going to test my admin console. Okay, and you can use this particular parameter and you can define the cluster parameter uh, values here for to access the application that you will deploy on your cluster. So these are the high level steps that you need to uh, follow when you uh, create or you, uh, when you use the HTTP cluster servlet for the load balancing of the request, right? So now the first step, we have to create a managed server. So we will create a managed server with the same name, which is proxy server. So let me go to my uh, domain. This is my domain. Okay, so what I will do, I will take a lock and edit and then I will click on new. I will create a managed server with the name of proxy server. Okay, and let me define the port as 8888. Okay, so this is going to act as a proxy server. So from this server, the request will be redirected to the backend server. Okay, and this is, this is going to configure as a standalone server because I am going to uh, mark it as a proxy server. Okay, click on next, look of the configuration and click on finish. Okay, so now you can see that your proxy server is created. Okay, so after that, because we have to deploy the application on this particular proxy server, so what we need to do, we have to start this particular server. Okay, so what I will do, I will select this one and I will start this uh, this one. Okay, there is no machine associated, so let me first configure a machine for this one, lock and edit. Okay, and I will select the machine, machine one, which I have configured for this domain. Okay, so let, let me activate this one. 
okay so i have assigned the machine so that now, now i can able to start this virtual server from the admin console so let me uh, go to control select the server and click on start yes okay it will take some time to start the uh, my server so i haven't started my managed servers because what i am going to do i am just for demo purpose i am going to show you how to access the admin console with the help of proxy server right and now till this server is going to be started okay let me show you the other configuration so after that we as i said we have to configure a web application so let me show you the web application so this is the web application that i have currently http cluster servlet and let me show you the content of this particular uh, file so let me extract the content of this file right so this is the command jar hyphen xbf that you can use for extracting the content okay In inside that you will have meta nf folder and web nf folder so this is the default folder structure of a var file web application right so now our main content is inside the web hyphen inf so here we have two file web.xml and weblogic.xml so web.xml is specifically for the application related uh, configuration parameters and weblogic.xml is specifically for the weblogic related configuration parameters so let me quickly show you the content of web.xml so when we open the web.xml so here you can see that we have a web app context is defined which is closing here inside that we have defined the cluster so servlet and this is the name of the servlet http cluster servlet this is the name of the cluster servlet and inside servlet that we have a class then this is the name of the class so this is a, you have to use this default class and this default cluster server cluster which is provided by the oracle okay and inside that you have to define a parameter like weblogic cluster so i have defined the weblogic cluster value as localhost colon 7001 because i am going to access my admin console with the help of this proxy server okay so if you have the managed servers in the backend for example you have managed server 1 and 2 here you can see that in a cluster right running on the port 7003 and 7004 so if you would like to access the application which is deployed on a cluster so what you can do here you can define the the machine name colon the port of your managed server and then pipe and then again the uh, dns or ip address and then colon port of your managed server as i have explained here right so apart from that you have a uh, servlet mapping here okay which is for the url pattern slash context okay and then the kind of a request that you would like to redirect like uh, all the jsp pages you would like to redirect from this particular proxy server all the uh, requests with dot, dot html extension would, you would like to redirect uh, with the help of this proxy server so these are the settings that you have to define in the web uh, web, web dot xml file okay and let me show you the oracle documentation as well so this is the oracle documentation and when we uh, say the configure proxy plugins okay so here we have two options for configuring the proxy plugins in the uh, in the web project the first one that generally we uh, know with the help of a web server okay supported web server right and the first option if you see this is with the help of http cluster servlet using this particular servlet so i am going to explain you this process okay so if i open this link particular link then you will reach the documentation of this http server cluster okay and here you will see the same information that i have explained to you okay and they have given them sample uh, sample sample web logic and web.xml file as well and these are the parameters that we defined inside the weblogic.xml file or web.xml file and this is the parameter that we were talking about weblogic cluster okay so similarly here you can see that if you have a cluster then you can define a cluster like this one right so this is the oracle documentation for same so now this is the web.xml file and let me show you the weblogic.xml file so here you can see that we have defined the context root of the application so for that we have given the slash all the requests that we are redirecting via this proxy server this is the main configuration file web.xml and weblogic.xml and the kind of a configurations that we defined inside this particular file so after that you can uh, create the var file okay for that you can again use the same uh, generic way okay that we how we uh, create the var files okay so for extraction what we have used for extraction we have used the let me uh, show you again let me let me go back and see if this window is open or not okay not let me show you again so this is let me okay and now let me show you again so we have to run cmd here so jar iphone xpf and then the name of file this we use for the extraction of the content and again you would like to create this var file okay then we have to use the c 
okay and the name and then you can specify the star so by this way you can create the var file okay this is the standard way of creating the application files okay so uh, now what i will do i will deploy this var file on my admin server on my proxy server okay so let me go back to console let me click on servers and then let me go to the deployments okay and after deployment i will uh, take a lock and edit install okay and then i will uh, go for this particular location right for where i have my application so let me go to here and let me specify this location okay let me go back and let me see if it is selected okay this this is an open directory right so let me select the file so this is the var file that i have selected i am going to install it as an application and i am going to deploy it on my proxy server click on next and then again next and then you can click on finish okay it will take some time for the deployment and once it is done you will see the application is in active state based on your domain mode whether it is in development or in a production mode okay so let me activate the changes and let me go to the deployment so now you can see that application is deployed as in prepared state okay and then what i will do i will go to control okay and then i will start the application okay so let me start servicing all requests and let me click on yes okay it will take some time again based on the size of your application okay and then it will activate and mark this application as an active so now you can see that application is in active state right so that means this this proxy server is activated now that means we have created a proxy server which is running and then we have deployed the http server cluster application on our proxy server right and now let me go back and show you so we have deployed the application okay now we have to access the application with the help of the proxy server so now because as i said i have configured the proxy server for um, to access the admin console so what i will do localhost localhost colon 8888 slash console okay so now you can see that I can able to access my uh, admin console with the help of this proxy server which i have configured on port 8888 right so similarly you can access the applications which is deployed on your cluster by just changing this particular parameter which is weblogic cluster parameter and here you can specify the uh, ip address or uh, or the dns and then port of your managed server separated by the pipe character okay so this is the uh, another way of configuring the your uh, proxy plugins in weblogic server if you don't want to use the web server in front of your weblogic for the load balancing thank you